Hello and welcome back to more dot hack quarantine. I already started in a party because I decided when I started this video, what we were going to go do is exactly what I said in the last video, is we were just going to jump right in to progressing the story and going to the area that it tells us to go. So I picked my party members, I went and did my trades, I got them all properly equipped, and we're ready to go. So without further ado, let's get in the game. Figured since I wasted enough time on the last video, it'd be better for the sake of time to just jump right into it. Let's go to Screaming Wind Sands Fate Castle and warp. Protected area, need the fire scores, went fire score hunting, previous video, which lasted a total of uh, two days and actually almost four hours. It was like three hours and some change. Oh man, I really wish I, I had Googled looking for those orbs instead of just assuming I knew where I was going to find them. That's what happens when you're confident. When you get confident, you just feel like you know everything and you don't need to know anything from anybody else. Especially not strangers online. And here we are. Alright, let's get those fairies orbs out. Uh, we got a portal right behind us. Let's go do it. We're gonna do the, the classic first portal, last portal, spring, and then into the dungeon. Oh, look at this big guy. Everyone use their skills. I'm gonna use my skills. Because we got these stealth blades, we have these right here. Where I can just, bam, put him to sleep. And since he's a dark person who's tolerant, let's go ahead and change our equipment. Let's see, since they have a dark tolerancy, my stealth blades does dark attacks, but my twin Mizushis do thunder attacks. And that's what we're gonna be Red using. Flame. Skills. Tempest Strike. <laughs> Get that elemental damage going. And since it's the first time running into it on this field, we're gonna data drain them. Oh, out of control, Mumele got cast. We got a fire score, which is always good to have extras, as we found out the hard way. I guess that Mumele didn't really do anything. I think it was towards the monster, maybe? I forget which one Mumele is. I think I have Mumele. Oh, our infection's a little, a little high. Uh, I thought I had Mumele. I apparently do not. Target and nearby members darkness elements. All right, I think it's one of the pair like paralyze or sleep is what that is Maybe it just failed, uh, but I'm babbling. So there you go That's the first field down and then we're gonna move on to the the last uh, not the first field down the first portal down Then we're gonna move on to the last portal We're gonna check out the spring which is gonna be coming up right before the last portal And then we're going to the dungeon. We're just gonna go kick butt in the dungeon. So I'll be right back. All right, here we are at the spring. This spring has a strange feel. Maybe I should throw in a weapon or a piece of armor. That sounds like a wonderful idea. What should we throw in, though? We got Savaro. I'm tempted to throw that one in because we have sorcery swords now. And we have a level three wood there, but maybe I should just throw sorcery swords in. Let's see what happens. It's the highest level twin blade that we got. Did you lose a golden axe? Or was it a silver axe? It was neither. What? Neither one? I know, crazy, right? Hmm. Let's see. Then is it this? Maybe. Just between us. Uh-huh. With a weapon of this level, there's nothing I can do. Oh, no. 
go to a level much more difficult and ask Grandpa. Okay, I'll do that. In consolation, uh -huh. take this. Oh, boy. Till next time, goodbye. Goodbye, Monsieur. That was actually an outcome I would prefer to have had. Getting more golden axes and silver axes, because there's somebody that I could trade with who requires 10 golden axes or 10 silver axes, and you can get some strong weapons from them. So, uh, getting more gold and silver axes, not a bad thing. Here we go to the last portal. Your skills. I use my weakness skills to paralyze them. Making it a lot easier for my people to go in and take them out. That's the other one, because the Dark Maidens move pretty fast. So, just do that. Bam, that one got data broken. How do we do it on this? Good. Physical accuracy down. Got the power score. Field is clear. Uh, a lot of the kind of big guys from the last game that we're playing. There's Stair. There's the big bone golem that we saw in the beginning. Stair's the giant winged eyeball thing that casts ridiculous fire comet spell and puts people to sleep. I don't know, it charms them. Uh, Dark Maidens, I think, are the ones that are actually putting people to sleep. And those, of course, are not too difficult. Evolution does not always mean progress. Oh, Charles Darwin denier, I see. All right, uh, let's keep it moving. Let's get our fairies orb out. And of course, we got to clear the dungeon. Or at least clear it as best we can. Because we might get to the final floor and it'll just be like, uh... We're not gonna let you use the god statue. You can't go get the god statue. And that's always a pain. Because they want you to go back and then do it all over again. I don't want to do that, so I don't. But I'll take these things here, which... As much trading as I've done, I don't think I'm going to be coming across any equipment for a while that's going to uh, improve anything. They do put people to sleep, I was right. But you put the wrong one to sleep, lady. Alright, let's get a restorative. Um, Get her out of here. I have yet to switch off my lucky shoes. I keep my lucky shoes in my inventory just so I have access to these two strengthened spells. And then I'm supposed to switch right back, but I just wind up equipping them and then leaving them on. Let's keep going. But I am by far one of the best support characters in this game. I play the role of healer when we don't have a wave master. Hey, what do we got? Virus core? Hey, alright. Prevents me from having to go back to the other fields and data drain something. Hopefully. Hopefully that's what it does. And as difficult as it is getting virus cores, I'm glad they don't just have random areas that are just locked and you can't access. 
because that would just make getting virus cores all the more difficult. There we go. We don't even need to use skills. Just let them go and attack. Let them use their own physical prowess to take them out. These things, which are going to be used for trade for better items, which do that. If there's there's advice that I can give for trading in the game, take your lower level equipment stuff, just the mass amounts that you get from running dungeons, and then go and trade them for those level 70 and above. Evolution sometimes leads to. An undesired vector. Your mom leads to an undesired vector. <laughs> Got him. Uh, you take that low-level equipment, trade it for the high-level equipment, and then you'll get a lot of spells too, which, I don't know if you're like me and don't really use the scroll spells too, too much, but uh, have a large amount of those with you. And if you get something where you're like two to one star away from being able to accept a trade, give them a bunch of spells. You'll get items, higher level items. They'll accept it. It'll be a good trade for them. Uh, what did I come in here for? Oh yeah. There's our... Got lost with what I was saying. Watch once I beat this game completely. They're gonna announce that they're gonna come out with a, uh, <laughs> a remake. One of these guys down. Moonstone's confused, so I'm just gonna watch out for them. Two of them are down. I'll get you with the remedy here in a second, Moonstone. But right now, you're not attacking one of us. So you're all good, they're all down. Uh, equipment. Give me sorcery swords. And let us use our wooden skill, Fortune Strike. There, see when someone didn't even need the heal. Get him out of here. Get these liches out of here. Those guys are usually difficult too. Stealth blades, man, don't, don't sleep on the stealth blades. Keep them with you. Keep them as like your main equip thing, just so that way you can hit people with a, a paralyze and a sleep. That's essentially the moon and the hanged man. One of the two most uh, useful tarot cards that you can get. And then once you have stealth plates too, you don't even need to carry around the moon or the hangman with you. That's two slots in your inventory. You can have back to yourself. She's already at full health because well, it killed her all the way. And then, uh, oh, Regim. Should Regim stone too because he uses. Bloody 
SP attacks like crazy, which is a good thing. What do we got? We got a chest. All right, sea griefs. This is weird. I haven't seen this like little detail in the back here. Eggs that are already like cracked open. Huh. Maybe we'll find a virus core in this next one over here. Yep. Virus core B. Those can go away. Antidote again. Restored. Rose getting that healing. That will deserve healing over time that she needs. The moon. You know, I've been given a lot of thought on after I beat this game. Oh, what am I going to play next? And I thought jump right on in to Dahek GU and go through the uh, game stairs. Four. Just like this one. Now, there's four. Uh, there was only three in the series when they released it. I have it on Steam. I don't own physical copies on the PS2 like I do with this one. And they added uh, another episode that I never got to play. So that would be a cool thing to get back in and jump in on that. However, I thought also, what about a palate cleanser? What if instead of jumping into uh, another dot .hack game, we played a different JRPG and uh, beat that and then went into it? But I think about just kind of like changing it out with a uh, JRPG instead of like another game. Or maybe we'll go through and I'll just like mass upload uh Wukong or uh it is arrogant for one to reject change because it is undesirable well all right then or maybe uh gundam breaker 4 you know one of the games that are already going on change it to where i just kind of upload all them until we get to the end and then i just run out of games to play like that's ever gonna happen. Run out of games to play. There's so many games out there. Oh, never gonna run out of games to play. Oh, the skills. I'll hit him with my skills. Get him with that. When they put him to sleep. Oh yeah. This one's the perfect for stealth plates. As a matter of fact, this is where I got my stealth plates from, I believe. From data training a star viking. Or maybe it was the spectre plate. 
I forget which one I dropped. Splinter Slash. I'm pretty sure I got stealth blades from a uh, data drain drop. That guy has a high evasion to magic attacks. Put him to sleep, hit him with some darkness slashes, and they're done. Beyond nice. Dark. Went crazy with the SP attacks. Let's get that recovery going. Inferno strike. Let's go in here. Fire score C. So we found A, B, and C. Some burning oil. We've got so much of that back in the storage. But because we have so much of it, it's the whole reason that I have, uh, Level 90 and level 80 armor already. You get those things, you find the people who are looking for them. Because they trade like really great items. Oh, it's a uh, data monster. Just get us, folks. Or Jukesai. There we go. Beta train it. Let's stop. Eye on guard. And it's gone already. It's been a while since we've seen that monster. Gotta wanna say that was a first game monster. Oh, part one monsters making a comeback. Playing the greatest hits. Lovers. All right, move on. Uh. So does that just mean like once we get down to the fourth floor, it's gonna be uh, just right into the white room? This is supposed to be the last of the mysterious white rooms. And then we don't run into any more of them apparently. The bug. Let's get them. Let's get them. Let's put them to sleep. Now that they're sleeping, let's punch them a whole lot with our Beyond daggers. Dogs. Swords. Real sword. Okay, put it up in the Let me slash again. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. And again. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da There we go. Let's get this. The lovers. Had actually hit me with a rigging. rigging. Boom. Get to be four. Rejection of change is the rejection of possibility. Who are you to be so wise in the ways of science? Alright, uh, fairies or... See, it was right there on Sprite or Karina. That would have sucked. Teleport back to the field. Oh, it's another Woodstock! Use the skills, everybody! I don't have any Earth attacks, do I? Oh, darkness. I'm surprised I got a water attack. Fire's 
underscore C. Okay, that's all you get from that guy. Uh, ha, 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 oh, boy. Alright, uh, strengthen up. Hit Moonstone with it, too. Let's see what the little flower left behind for us. Kikoku, which I believe is a twin blade weapon. It is level 43. The moon. Let's go down this way. Check out what's in this little treasure room. Get abandoned darkness resistance. Who's been the darkness that we've come across? Dark maidens, I guess. Maybe the dark monsters. I wish they had more unique type monsters. It seems like near the end there, they're kind of like just reskins. But I guess they kind of always done that in JRPGs. You would just get like a, a palette switch with a different color on them. Or like they do with the uh, gob tag guys where they would just make them essentially a golden goblin but when it has armor looks a little different this one's holding a different weapon Let's see what's in these two it's a wood stone oh activated the back end who was it oh what is it I don't I don't even see what it is Glitch. It's paralyzing. Uh. Oh, there's a third one. Give me my items, you. There's a vein. Skills. Super day. Switch. Red, red. We just handled that with the greatest of ease. Look at our stats. We're full health, mostly full SP. No one died. We took care of business that way. Let's switch back to the stealth blades. What do we got? Alright, skills. Confused both of them. Just gonna let them run around and do that. I hate you. Nope. Item. Restorative. Moonstone. 
far rip. Black Rose. Ooh, she's got this. They're there for. I don't have a wood thing, and I don't really want to move forward. So let's see what some of these do. These magic tokens, I forgot about that. I'll just still uh, sit in the back here. So if I move forward. That I can hit. I don't want to do that one. want to get the one in the back. Back to full black rose. Take this guy out already. Why is taking you the line? It's a treasure. Out of here. Took way too long for that fight. Chased him to the back corner. And we're not getting that great treasure. Secrets. All right, let's go downstairs to the fifth floor. Crazy. But I am glad some of these story dungeons are not as big as the random dungeons that we come across, which are massive. Long corridors, big rooms. Can't really tell where down is until you're getting close to it. Allow diversity. I didn't know this game was woke. <laughs> uh, see that? Brought it into the modern age. There we go. Hit him with the skills. Yeah. Hit him with the sleepy sleep. Or not. Is it normally the sleep that I hit him with, or is it the Splinter Slash. Normally I don't miss this. Oh, we're missing all of them now. Splinter Slash. Coming to a thing where we gotta actually fight him. There we go. Now we don't have to actually fight him, everybody. Hit him with all you got. Over the Keel Mountains meets an ape with human speech. The ape asks, Yeah, I got a uh, buck fifty I could borrow, pal. What clings to you? Bear it. You cannot. Accept it. You cannot. It's a pretty wise ape. But hidden. It is from you. Recite its name. Epitaph 04. And now we're back. I 
can't find Mia anywhere. Yeah. Maybe she stopped playing the game. Maybe, yeah. Through life, moved on. There's no way. Hey, I know. You help us out as well. If Mia is still here, you may be able to find her that way. Yeah, instead of moping around like a little bit. I mean, yeah, elk. you're right. Mia likes this type of stuff. Will you let me help? It's decided. What was decided? What did we decide? All I said was it's decided. There was no yes or no there. I don't know what happened. Well, there you have it. We got mail. It's going to advance the story a little further. Hopefully it won't get any hung up things with the next virus core gate hacking thing that we need to do. I'm gonna read ahead though just to make sure I'm prepared and uh, instead of doing virus hunting videos maybe just off recording I will go and uh, just go get the viruses myself and then come back and we'll, we'll do all that it sounds like it'd be an easier thing to do than to <laughs> have three hours and two days of recordings not knowing what the hell I'm doing so yeah thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next game of Don Hack Quarantine. Bye.